Hey, this is Bruce Music here, and today I'd like to share with you a piece of information I recently found out that I thought was fascinating. I found out recently that the average IQ in the United States has been dropping for the last 50 years. That the intelligent quotient of people in the United States has been dropping for 50 years. And I'm sure this is not just in the United States, I'm sure it's all over the world. And what's interesting is that research has found out that the, the drop in the level of intelligence quotient was directly correlated to the increase in the ability of people to watch television. We don't even know that the IQ level has been dropping because what's happened is the organization that controls the IQ testing in the states has been lowering the standard of what 100 IQ is. Now 100 is, is the average intelligence quotient. So the average person has an, has an IQ of 100. But unbeknownst to the general public, this quotient to this level of intelligence has been dropping so that the public wouldn't know that there, in fact the intelligence of the American culture has been lowering and lowering and lowering every single year. Here's the interesting part. This was tied in to the advent of television. So the more human beings have been watching television, the lower our intelligence has been becoming. Why do you think that is? Well, here's what some researchers in NLP propose. That because television has become such a part of our lives, we've been losing the ability to visualize because we get our visual Im images presented to us from an external source. We don't have to close our eyes and create, create them from an internal source. So for example, when people were reading books more and there was no television around to distract us, we would read a book and we'd have to create mental images. Now, if you know anything about intelligence, um, you'll know that your ability to solve problems is directly proportionate to your ability to visualize. That's why Albert Einstein said, or is famous for having been quoted as saying, that imagination is more important than knowledge. Because when you're solving a problem, what you're doing is you're looking inside your head and you're creating mental models and pictures to help you solve the problem. I used to do this in math class when I was at school or uh, I'll do this to imagine and predict the future when I want to see how a business uh, idea I have is going to play out in the future I'll visualize it happening but if your ability to visualize is impaired or is not well developed what you'll find is that your ability to solve problems to predict the future and to create scenarios in your head is seriously less than it might be and if you were to do an IQ test or intelligence quotient test you'll come out scoring less if your ability to visualize is less now of course for most people People, they can't visualize properly because they haven't practiced and because they've become so good at watching television and having external images fed to them and given to them rather than internally creating their own images for themselves that they can't do it anymore in an effective way. So if you want to get ahead and really make sure that uh, you succeed in life, that you're able to solve problems, get ahead in business, get ahead in your life, uh, help people more, you really need to learn how to visualize. I personally think that one's ability to visualize is directly tied in to one's ability to create wealth in life because creating money in business is all about solving problems. In business we face problems every single day. In work, in our work environments we face problems every single day and we solve them using our mental ability. So if you want to get ahead of the pack, if you want an advantage over the rest of the people around you so you can move forward and get the results you want to in 2009, I highly recommend you learn how to visualize and it's very easy to do you just do it with practice I have a product that'll teach you how to do this and if you use this product every single day you'll find your ability to visualize shoots through the roof I certainly noticed mine has you'll also find your ability to relax shoots through the roof and research shows as well the mind works better when you're able to relax so I'm gonna recommend two products down below that you check out one of them is one of my own it's called the relaxation for manifestation and you can click on the link down below and have a look at that another one is a product by uh, another party called Lumosity and these are brain training games that help you uh, develop your mind in the different areas of cognitive speed, in the areas of imagination, in the areas of memory, and the areas of processing. And if you play these games for just five to ten minutes, I put aside 15 minutes every morning to play these games first thing in the morning, you'll notice uh, your ability to process information and solve problems increases too. So go ahead and click on the link down below and go and check out the relaxation for manifestation. Here's what you can expect will happen in a couple of weeks. A, your ability to create vivid mental pictures in your mind will increase. Your ability to hold those pictures for an extended period of time and program your mind will dramatically increase. You'll begin to notice synchronicity showing up in your life all the way around. And one of them, perhaps the side benefits, is that you begin to be able to control your emotions more. And here's why. I don't know if you know this, but our emotions are determined by the pictures that we hold in our mind. 
So if you're making pictures in your mind of things not going well in your life, perhaps of you getting fired from your job or perhaps the debt collectors coming around and repossessing your house, what you're going to notice is your feelings start to follow suit and you start to feel depressed, your physiology will follow, your body will drop, your eyes will look down and you'll begin noticing you begin feeling depressed. However, if you begin making pictures in your mind of uh, perhaps sitting in a hammock on a beach, listening to the sound of the waves rolling in, feeling the sun on your skin, you'll notice that your physiology changes, you begin smiling, your energy changes and your emotions begin to become happier. Now. For me, I think the thing that what most people want, based on the thousands of people I've spoken to in my seminars, is they want happiness. They just want to go through life uh, feeling happy. More than they want money, more than they want job satisfaction, more than they want the relationship of their dreams. Most people just want to be happy. Now, if you can visualize effectively, you can change the pictures in your mind in a split second, in an instant. And as a result, you get to be able to change your physiology and your emotions at the same time, giving you a far more enjoyable quality of life along the way. So go and check that out. I hope you find this little tip bit useful. And remember, stay away from the television. Start creating internal pictures, whether it's from reading books or uh, using the relaxation for manifestation I recommended down below, or just closing your eyes and imagining every day. So this is Bruce Music from Venice Beach in Los Angeles, signing off, wishing you an absolutely miraculous day.